great to be back. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this episode of Mr. Lee's Brain Break. It's great to be back. I was feeling ill, and I want to thank my substitute teacher, who was here last week, uh, Mr. B. I've never actually got to meet him, but um, uh, I heard good things. He said the show went really, really well. I wouldn't say really, really well. Oh, really? Hey, everybody, it's Greg. Hello, everyone. And no, not really, really well. Hmm. Why, why do you think it didn't go well? Well, for starters, he did stuff differently than you, his jokes were horrible, and he called Miss Jean Minnie Mouse just because she had a costume on. Oh, I see. You didn't like it because it was different. No. It's just that things go a certain way, and he did them in a way that was... Different. Yeah, maybe you're right. It just wasn't the same. No. Oh, did you miss me a little bit, Greg? <laughs> no. Sheesh. Don't we have a segment to start or something? Oh, right you are, Greg. And it's a special one. We have a brand new segment this week. Um, we're going to try and do it every week. Greg, did you know that there are 19 different languages spoken at Beacon? Obviously. Hmm. Well, you might enjoy this next segment then, Greg. It's a brand new segment we're going to try to do every week. Um, each week, a student will get to pick a word from the Word Wide Word of the Week word wall. Hmm. And then they're going to share that word in their other language that they speak. So we get to learn languages from all over the world. Hmm. So let's start it. This is the first episode of... The Word Wide Word of the Week. Hi, I'm Jovid. The word I chose is hello, and I'm going to say it in Russian. This language is spoken in Russia, and the word to say hello is privet. Privet, Jovid. That was awesome. Wait, wait, wait. Stop the show. Stop. What is it, Greg? Is everything okay? I'm hungry. Hey kids, Miss Allie here. Have you been noticing you're getting lots of carrots in your school lunches? Sometimes they look like this. Sometimes they look like this. We're gonna show you how to make them even tastier by making glazed carrots. You're just going to need some butter and brown sugar. Take about a tablespoon of butter and put it in a bowl. And then you can use your spork that you get in your school lunch bag. Fill it with sugar and add it to the bowl. Then you want to microwave it for about 30 seconds. together to create your glaze. Now open up your carrots and add them to your glaze and stir it so you cover the carrots with the glaze and then you want to microwave it for one and a half minutes. 90 seconds later Careful taking it out of the microwave, it might be hot. Now you just want to stir it up again, make sure it's all nicely coated, and enjoy your tasty carrots. Thank you, Miss Allie. Delish. Mr. Lee asked me to read the following statement. I, Greg, heartily apologize for interrupting Mr. Lee's flow by stopping the show to say that I was hungry and therefore kicking off the In the Kitchen segment before Mr. Lee was ready. It won't happen again. Thank you. It's just that I had an apron and all this, and I had a whole bit I was going to do. And Anyway, <clears throat> um, let's uh, go to our next and most accurately named segment, the Arts and Crafts segment. Hi, 
Today we're gonna to do a really simple activity. All you need is a piece of paper, a white crayon, and some markers. This is kind of fun that you could do You leave a nice note for your mom. All you need to do is take your white crayon and write on the white paper anything you want. A message, a picture, anything. Then take your marker and you're gonna go over the crayon. And everything that you just wrote is gonna show up just like magic. So you could write a note to your mom, you could write a note to your brother or sister. A couple examples here you could do. If you have access to watercolor paints, you could get very fancy and draw out a picture. Take your paints and reveal the image. It looks a lot like the marker. It's a little more fun. like that. So if you want to do a nice little note or a full picture, you can do it two different ways. So be creative and have fun. Thank you, Miss Jamie. I followed along. While well, Greg had a snack. Are you feeling better, Greg? Yes. Tons. Don't chew with your mouth open, Greg. Sorry. Well, while you're over there chewing, the rest of us are going to go on a weekend workout. Hi, welcome back. This is weekend workout number six. This week, I'm going to show you how to play a game called Hanky Pong. The goal is to volley back and forth with a partner. You choose what line, you could use cones or something like this to divide the two sides. Here's how you play. You can use a plastic bag, okay, or you could use a rag from your house. The rules are you can only use your feet to start the game. You put the bag or handkerchief on your foot. You have to toss it over to the other side without it hitting the ground, okay? So we're just gonna try and see how many we can get back and forth. Joy, you start this one. And she's gonna balance it on her foot, toss it over to my side. Yep, she can hit it twice if she wants. Okay, I'm gonna balance it, toss it over, balance, toss, balance, toss. Ooh, she saved it. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. <laughs> that was awesome. So <clears throat> you can start when you're when you're first learning and you can allow someone on each side. They can hit it as many times as they want before it goes over. But ultimately you want to get to the goal where you only hit it once or twice before it goes over. All right, Joy, try it again. Now you watch, as she bounces on her foot, she cannot bring that foot down until she tosses it over. Ooh, good try. Okay, I'm gonna try one more. Let's even get three in a row. Balance, toss, balance. Yep, just get that balance first, there you go. Good. Ooh, good try. Okay, if you want a different challenge, you can use a household rig. Same idea. I balance it on my foot. My foot has to stay in the air until I toss it. She's gonna catch it first. That's all right. You try, you start. Nice. Ooh. All right, try it again. I'm gonna try and just lay it nice and flat on my foot. Just gonna get three in a row. 
Nice. Toss it right away. Back over. Ooh, good try. So you can see this is a challenging game. Okay? I want to see how good you can get at this game. Thanks for being here. This is our weekend workout. Woo! Thank you, Miss Jean. And, and Joy. I was just about to say, Joy. I was just making sure. You don't even know Joy. I just think we'd be friends. Oh, really? Well, I think she'd like you too. Well, that about uh, wraps it up for this week. Wait, where did you skateboard this week? Oh, you're right. I almost forgot. Let's roll that footage. Really made it out of that one. Well, that about wraps it up for this week's edition of Mr. Lee's Brain Break. Um, I hope you had fun. Have a good weekend, Beacon. And Greg, you want to take us home? Oh, yeah. One last thing. <laughs>